Welcome back. This is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and are glad in it because we have the opportunity. We have the privilege of studying God's word together. On this Friday, we continue with Acts chapter 19, uh, the first 10 verses. In chapter 18, Paul wrapped up his second mission journey, went to Jerusalem and then back to Antioch in Syria. And then after a while, he went back and started on his third missionary journey journey, going to the area of Galatia, Asia Minor, uh, Turkey as we know it today. And uh, then we heard a little bit about Apollos. Apollos was the uh, Hellenistic Jew from Alexandria who shared the word of God, but Priscilla and Aquila uh, corrected him so that he would uh, know more about who Jesus was and what he had done. We pick up again from Acts 19 verses 1 through 10. And it happened that while Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples, and he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you were baptized? And they said, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptized? They said, Into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, Jesus. Upon hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. They were about, there were about 12 men in all. And he entered the synagogue and for three months spoke boldly, reasoning and persuading them all about the kingdom of God. And when some became stubborn and continued in unbelief, speaking evil of the way before the congregation, he withdrew from them and took his disciples with him, reasoning daily in the hall of Tyrannus. This continued for two years, so that all the residents of Asia heard the word of the Lord, both Jews and Greeks. This is the word of the Lord. Paul, you remember on his second mission journey, when he had the one time to speak in the synagogue, they asked him to come back, and he replied, if, the, if it is God's will, I will return. Well, guess what? It was God's will. He was back. Now, again, we had talked about how Apollos had shared the word of God there. He hadn't heard of the baptism of Jesus that is one of the things that Priscilla and Aquila had corrected him on, kindly pulling him aside and gently telling him. And But yet, that problem hadn't been corrected among the believers. They still didn't know more than the baptism of John. They had been baptized in the name of John. You know, that's kind of a, that the baptism of John was, remember, something that, that they did to show their contrition. It was part of their work. This, however, is a different kind. This is the baptism in the name of Jesus. Jesus is at work through it, doing what he promised to do, creating faith, sending his Holy Spirit into the hearts and into the lives of those who are baptized. And in this one, the Holy Spirit was displayed in very unique ways. They began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Well, how about now? Why doesn't the Spirit, or does the Spirit, I should ask, work in those ways now? Well, what greater work could we see the Holy Spirit doing than bringing faith into the life of someone? That is his greatest work, bringing us into the faith, keeping us into the faith. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Can he do more? Can he use those gifts to further his kingdom? Yes, he can. Even today, if God wills. Unfortunately, most of the times we read or see or hear of someone speaking in tongues or prophesying, it isn't for the word of God to be spread. It isn't to increase the numbers in heaven. It is so often focused on self and what they are doing and what others are to do for their own good. Can God do this? Yes. But it is always to build up the body of Christ and not to bring division 
or, or separation among the believers or to bring glory to an individual and not to God. He went to the synagogue to preach as was his custom, and he was there for three months, continuing to be there, preaching the word of God, talking about how Jesus Christ, Jesus was the Christ, the one promised in the Old Testament, the very Son of God. And yet again, there was dissension. It says in verse 9, but when some became stubborn and continued in unbelief, in other words, rejecting the work of the Spirit through the word, speaking evil of the way. Not only were they in unbelief, but they were, were be, being divisive, speaking evil of the way. Remember, the way is the early uh, terminology for the Christian church. They were speaking evil of the way in the congregation. So he withdrew from them once again, took all of the disciples with him, and went to speak in a different place. This continued for two years. The longest that that Paul spent in any of his mission journeys was, was there in Ephesus. And the Ephesus is an important part of the early church. The apostle John was known to be a bishop there later on in his life. Ephesus is one of the churches that John writes about in, in the revelation of the letters to the churches. Ephesus was, was a center, and from there, the word of God spread to all the residents of Asia, both Jews and Greeks, through the work and the word that Paul was sharing there in Ephesus. We have his letter that he later wrote to the church in Ephesus, most likely at the end of this third missionary journey, that before he goes to Rome, possibly while he was in prison in Caesarea Philippi. The book of Ephesians is an, is an amazing work reminding us of how God desires us to live as Christians in this world because of what he has done for us through Jesus Christ. He shared the word so all might hear the word of God in that region. And isn't that why we exist as a church here at Peace or whatever your church might be? Is we are here so that all people might hear the word of God. May God establish us to do those great things for him, here and wherever he leads us. Amen.